Welcome to Featherlight Stories. One new story every Sunday and Thursday. This is episode three, one thousand and three. An ant colony is like a whole different world. It's built like a giant castle of earth and things you find on the forest floor, with many underground chambers and tunnels. Of course, to us humans, they don't look that big, but compared to the tiny animals that built them, they really are. Ants live there to serve their queen, who lives in the deepest of the underground chambers. Ants are born out of an egg, like. Birds and snakes. Every ant egg in their castle was laid there by the queen, so she is also every ant's mother. Because their mother never leaves the colony, her children go out to search for food and materials to make their castle bigger and stronger. Some ants stay inside to help with the construction work, or to take care of the eggs and baby ants. Bigger ants are patrolling the tunnels and outer walls like soldiers, keeping everyone safe. In one of the many ant castles of the large forest covering the highest mountain of the land, black ants were all busy with their daily tasks. The queen was laying her eggs in her dark underground royal chamber. Others carefully scattered around the eggs, carrying them to other chambers where they kept them clean and tended for newly hatched baby ants. Most ants, however, didn't stay inside but ventured out in long columns, going in every direction in search of all the things an ant colony needs. Ants leave their castle with a mission. They go and come back with whatever they could find and carry. They all have the same mission: stay in line, look out for food or useful things that can improve their castle, get back before sunset. For after sunset, dangerous animals would come out of their nests and holes, looking for little insects to devour. Even during the day, the ants had to look out for lizards and birds that always seemed to have an appetite for a little black, crunchy ant snack. As the column that marched towards the little water stream came out of one of the many exits of the castle, the ants shielded their eyes with their antennae. It always took some time to get used to the bright sunlight after spending time in the pitch dark chambers below. One of the ants, numbered and named one thousand and three, started to look around. It was the first time one thousand and three stepped out in the fresh air of the forest. Noticing how everything was so different from inside the castle, one thousand and three took a deep breath. Wow! Wow! What? The ant that walked in front asked. All of this—it's magnificent. I learned about trees, but never thought they'd be so enormous. I learned about the sun, but never expected it to be so bright yet so far away. I was told the air was pure, but not like this. <laughs> you think the trees are enormous? You must be my silliest sibling. The trees aren't enormous. It's us. We are tiny. The column kept marching towards the stream, and one thousand and three became more and more surprised about how everything else was so big. If everything is so large, why are we so small? The end in front looked back. How should I know? Maybe because if we were bigger, we wouldn't fit in our castle anymore. All the nearby ants started to laugh. When they reached the water stream, looking down while standing at the edge of a blade of grass, 
Another question came up when 1003 looked down to the reflection in the water. I look just like all the other ants? Stop asking questions, said the same ant that made everyone laugh earlier. Grab one of those pieces of dry leaf and join the returning column. 1003 did what was asked and carried the piece of leaf while joining the column of ants that walked back in the direction of their colony. Then they passed a tree that had some liquid flowing out of its trunk. What is that? asked 1003. That stuff? That's called raisin. It's sticky and although we can't eat it, we can use it to keep our tunnels and chambers clean. Nice find! We'll come back for... Hey! Don't get out of line! 1003 dropped the leaf and walked towards the raisin. It was indeed very sticky. 1003 used the front legs to rub the raisin everywhere. On the back, the head, the legs. Then, after rubbing against the moss that covered the tree's roots that stuck out of the ground, 1003 was all green. What are you doing? Get back here! 1003 picked up the leaf again, while the ants that were passing by looked amazed at their green counterpart. See what you did? You're slowing down the column. Start walking, we have enough work to do. 1003 got back in line and felt much better now that at least there weren't only black ants anymore. Suddenly, gusts of wind made ants fly in every direction. 1003 tried to hold on to a reed stem, but the gusts were too strong. Birds! Many ants yelled. Two giant wings blocked the sunlight and 1003 saw how a sharp yellow beak reached for ants that were trying to run away. One ant, two ants, three, four, five, they all disappeared in the bird's hungry beak. Then, just when 1003 got back on six legs to run away, the bird jumped, its two feet with claws that looked like razors standing on each side of 1003. The bird's head came down, and 1003 was too scared to look up or beg the bird to be merciful. But nothing happened. The bird made another leap and ate a few more other ants before spreading its wings again and taking off, disappearing above the trees. I'm still here? 1003 said with a shaking voice. You smart ant! The bird didn't recognize you with your green color. You look too different. 1003's six legs were shaking. I, I just... I wanted to not look the same as everyone else. Well, it saved your life. But let's hurry back home and tell the queen what happened here. 1003 told the queen what had happened that morning, and she smiled. From now on, we shall call you different. Now you really aren't like all the others anymore. They all have a number. 1003, or different, felt very proud. The next morning, ready for a new day in the great outdoors, Different was walking in the dark tunnel that led to the castle's southern exit. No water stream today. The column would go to the blackberry vines to collect food. Different couldn't wait to taste some of that fruit. But then, as they reached the end of the tunnel, Different saw how all the other ants were also covered in raisin and moss. I'm not different anymore! Uh, would you rather see us being eaten by a bird? You should be glad we learned from you, different. The column moved fast and they could see the blackberry bushes in the distance. When 
Gusts of wind started to blow ants off their legs, making them fly in the air and landing everywhere around the narrow trail. Bird! They screamed and started to run every direction as fast as they could. The bird didn't hesitate and its long, sharp beak started to pick off ants left and right. Almost all the ants in Difference column disappeared inside the bird and then it flew away. Different looked up, how it went higher and higher, wondering if it could reach the clouds. Why did my disguise not work this time? Another ant came out of hiding. I don't know, but we are going back to calling you 1003.